Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to Infitech 2. Let's play with Jason McRae. Yeah, that's me, this fancy little guy with two goggles on uh, his eyes. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. So, guys, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry for uh, not being that active in here and out uh, Minecraft uh, escapades. But I'm back. Been busy, but now it should be everything fine. So, uh, last time, what we have done? We have done basic cutting machine. And I've made diamond plates, basic assembling machine and basic fluid extractor, so these three machines. And I know I, pr I said that I will work on the flipping hell yeah uh, sorting slash uh, logistic system, because it's annoying to have uh, multi millions of chests and not being able, well, kinda don't know what is in them or where it's something. So, yeah, but I'm not going to work on that, because I'm running into some issue in here. And there are actually three issues in total. Well, there are two, but one is tied, well, one is a little bit extending into the third one. And what the issue is? Well, if I will go into this room, where I have the boiler, that's the issue, this boiler. How or why? Well, let's see, uh, when I run out of steam in the tank, which is currently, I guess it's full, yeah, uh, I need to go up here, take the stupid charcoal, put it here and hit it with a hammer to start up. It's annoying. So I want to automate this process. And how I want to automate it is via logic gates from Blue Power. And so in this case, I will basically want to uh, monitor the amount of fluid inside the tank. So let's go and let's make the necessary pieces. First piece I need is uh, actually a bit more redstone, some teslatite, and some smooth stone I have on me, which is awesome. I will also need, oh, I have four redstone conduits in here, good. But I will need more of them. Do I have, I don't. So let's put one more stack of redstone inside here to make more red oil virus. And I need some wood. And sticks. This should be plenty. Also, I will need a wrench and this one single piece of bronze plated bricks. So let's get on to it. So first thing I want to do. Oh, the first joint. Not on Steam Speak today. Not on Steam Speak. But yeah, he's joined. But I guess he's just joined to say, hey, it works. Hello! Uh, so, first thing we want is sto uh, stone tiles. They are made by just re-smelting the smooth stone. There we go. Then we want to make logic gates from blue power. The first gate I want to make is called not gate. If you know a little bit about logic, then not means basically in inversion. So let's craft it and I will show you what it will do. So to craft a knot gate, I need redstone torch and some of these. So first thing I need is bluestone cathode tile crafted like this. Uh, then next piece are four bluestone wires like this. Then I need also, we have cathode, so there should be an ano anode, right? Yes, you're right. Bluestone anode. So let's put it together. Uh, nope, I'm doing it wrong. Uh, bluestone wire is on bottom. Anode tiles like this. Cathode in the middle. And just regular plain old plain uh, stone tiles around the corners. So, not gate. 
So what this is going to do, let me show you. So this guy, if I will place it on the ground, you can see a little ghost image going. And it has four sides. So one is input, which is this one, and three outputs. So one, two, three outputs. Okay, and input. So what it will do? Now it's not receiving any redstone signal, so it's emitting redstone signal on those three sides. When I will flip the lever, it will turn all these three off. Again, I will um, get the signal off and it will invert the input signal, which is awesome. I'm not sure if it's going to carry the... It will not, I guess, yeah, it's kind of stupid. Yeah. So it will always emit a uh, full power, which is... Well, so sometimes it's annoying, sometimes it doesn't really matter. So that's the first gate. A second gate is called RS latch. So for RS latch I need again some redstone torches and some cathodes. Again I need anodes. And I need actually one more bluestone wire. So yeah, and so the RS latch is made by doing this. Uh, it's like this, I think. And two and two with empty tile in the middle. Yeah, RS latch. This is a little bit complicated piece. So again, let me show it to you how this works. So I will place it down. As you can see, it has lots of lots of stuffs. So now uh, it has basically two inputs and one, two outputs. So if I will do this, these are the inputs. Input and input. If I will flip this lever, it will switch. Like this. If I will turn it off, it will stay like that. If I will then flip this lever, it will switch to this side. If I will flip both, it will just turn itself off. So, and also, um, you can see, because I have flipped it in here, it's keeping, it's emitting the redstone signal actually to not only this side, but also on the, also for this side. And I'm going to tell to Daferus that he will need to watch. If you want to learn, you will need to watch the video. <laughs> okay, so let's disassemble it. One. There we go. Uh, the RS latches are actually all the blue stone or blue power pieces. They can be a little bit uh, derpy and just uh, laggy and buggy. So be aware of this. <laughs> okay, I need few more of these. Uh, I think. 28 should be enough. Okay, so these are the two gates. Well, one gate and one latch. Now... Uh, <laughs> good night. So oh yeah, Daferus was just testing the client because we have done a few internal changes to the testing version. We are running the modpack, well, the server on. So he had some issues. I'm going to bother you with them. So, another piece of actually again some redstone circuitry we need is... Yeah, good. Uh, is, uh, I need three uh, redstone torches. I also need one nether quartz. And if you know vanilla, you should know what I'm making. If you don't, well, here it is, redstone comparator. This guy is going, is able to detect, uh, pretty much it's mainly used for detecting uh, storage stuff. So if I will just show it to you really fast, let's get uh, some wooden planks, let's make an empty chest. There we go, chest, I will place a comparator in here. 
there is nothing, it's not emitting any signal. When I put item in it, it will emit signal. And it will emit signal of power 1. If I will put more items, it will just raise on the signal. Like so. Pretty straightforward piece of circuitry again. So what am I going to do with this? Or actually with all of this I have made? Well, guys, nothing. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I need a few more pieces and those pieces are two tin and one, two, three, four iron. And I want to make four iron plates. Let's get uh, this in because I will be working with it later. Okay, four iron plates. Uh, let's make two plates into pressure plate. There we go. Also, I will need one lever, which I have on me, so I don't need to make any more. And now I'm going to make two uh, so-called covers, Gregtech covers. And first one is machine controller. Not this one, that's shutter module, but this one, machine controller. It's crafted by putting a lever and plate, iron or rod iron plate into the assembler with some lead soldering iron or tin. So that's why am I using tin, because I have lots of tin. Okay, tin is here. So first is, as I said, machine controller. There we go. And the second one is fluid detector. I think it's called fluid detector. Yeah, fluid detector. Again, crafted like this. And what are these two are going to do for us? Well, give me a second until it's when it's crafted and I will show you. Okay, so fluid detector done. So now let's go upstairs and let's start uh, showing you the covers. So the covers I'm going to just make a hole in here and of course I will not catch it but it doesn't well okay let's drop down let's take it let's put it back down because I need to get underneath this so like that so uh, the machine controller uh, as it says on the tooltip it turns machines on and off and it turns them uh, when you apply a redstone signal so uh, you can't put it on the face of the machine so the only empty spot is underneath there we go and by the way to remove it you need a crowbar and just right click it to remove it now if I will put some charcoal in here it will not work of course normally I would need to take a soft hammer and hit it to enable but now you can just flip the lever it will turn on flip the lever it will turn off and you can control any electrical machine with this machine controller. Now, as for the fluid detector, let me a kinda-ish nerd pole. Oh, actually, yeah, I need to get rid of these two. Because I want to move the output hatches, well, at least, well, just one output hatch in here and rest will be filled like this. A reason why I want only one? Well, you can use multiple, it's fine, but uh, there is no reason, because the pressurized fluid conduit is able to pull all the steam out without actually, well, wasting anything, which is awesome. Of course, I want to set it to extract, always active. So now for the fluid detector. Do I have any redstone? Yes, I do. Okay. So I'm going up here, I will just break it for now, because I want to show you how this works. So uh, the fluid detector, it detects amounts of fluid inside attached inventories or tanks. So output hatch, it has an internal tank, so it can detect a flu uh, fluid amount. So I'm going again to place it on the block. You can. In this case, I think you can place it on the face, but you would block the input or output uh, 
hole, so you don't want to do that. That's why I moved it onto the side. So, there we go, output hatch. Now, if I put a redstone in here, you can see it's not emitting anything, because there is no steam in it. If I will put down a lever, and just let it run for a little bit, you can see now it has 1.5, uh, well, 1.5 buckets of steam, and it emits redstone signal of 2. So now, if it will basically be above 1.5, or, well, 1000, it will emit a signal. And the more it will have steam, the bigger the signal is. But I don't care about the strength in this case, because, well, I don't care. So I'm just going to put redstone conduit, since I'm here, like this, this, and I did a little planning ahead, so, like so, and I want to run it up and here, let's connect the pressurized with conduit here, extract always, and I want this guy to be like this, and this will go up to the tank, and you will see why? So let's go up and let's run it uh, in here or here. Actually, like so. Yeah, like so. Okay. Okay. So now I want, as I said, the redstone comparator is able to detect amounts of stuff. Uh, inside the inventories, so in the chest it detects amount of items. Near tank it will detect amount of liquid, as we can see here. So now it's emitting power of 12, which corresponds to this amount of steam. So what I want to do? Well, right now it's emitting a signal. And uh, this signal is actually going to control the block. So, if it receives the signal, it will start working. And it's receiving a signal because of there is steam. But I want to do quite opposite. So, yes, that's right. We are going to use the NOT gate in here. And I will place it like so. There we go. So, now, when uh, this tank will be slowly getting emptied, this power level will drop down. So when this will hit 2, this will be 1, uh, this is still this will still receive the 1 redstone power signal, so it will not emit anything. But when this will drop from 2 to 1, this there will be none in here, and it will start working, aka it will activate the boiler. And the reason why am I not detecting uh, when it's completely empty, uh, it's just for fun. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, that's in here, this part. So now, we want to go down. So, as I said, this will emit a signal when this is almost empty. Here, this will emit a signal when this has uh, some, well, more than 1000 steam stored. When this will get 1000 steam stored? When the tank is full. So when the tank is full, this is going to receive a uh, fluid, this will emit redstone signal, this will activate and switch this off. Actually will switch off the RS latch. So, boom! <gasps> okay, so and now you can see a little demonstration of this. Uh, here you can see, because as I said, uh, the input on here is also an output at the same time. So, right now, if this will turn on, 
It will turn on this, but the signal is not going down. It should, right? Well, it's going up. So we need to flip this. And to flip that, I need to get... Do I have iron on me? No, I don't. So I need one piece of iron. I need some indigo dye. I was checking earlier in the story chest and there are none. So I'm just going out, pinch this indigo flower and turn it into indigo dye. And then I can use it with a combination stick and indigo dye to make a screwdriver handle. And then I can put iron on it to make a screwdriver. You can't use a correct tech screwdriver on the, for this particular task. So now with the screwdriver, what I can do, I can rotate it. Let's take out the charcoal so I'm wasting stuff. So I can rotate a blue power gates and latches like this. As you can see, now it's emitting, it's actually going to emit the signal from here and it's going to turn it on. Again, that's not what we want. So to actually reverse it, I want to shift right click. There we go, it flipped it to the other side. And now if this is receiving redstone signal, it will start working. If this will re receive redstone signal, it will stop working. Demonstration. Demonstration, okay. So uh, right now it should be working because the tank is not full and there is no liquid in here. So I'm going to take a stack of charcoal. I will place it here and it will start working because it receives redstone signal. And the tank on top is filling up slowly. Let's quickly fast forward. Okay, the tank over there is almost full. So soon, oh, it started to receive. And you can see it received 14,000 millibuckets uh, before it actually switched off. So yeah, it's you can see right now it's producing a lot. And it started to emit when it received pretty much more or when it uh, more than it can transfer. Okay, so now if I will be draining uh, the steam from the tank, it will still not work because it needs to get emptied to at least well, let's say I guess it's something around five seven percent or something like that. When it will be empty, it will emit a redstone signal. It will flip this. It will flip this and this will start working. Yep, there is one issue. We need to get the charcoal in there because still we want to automate it. So let's go down. Let's take my uh, item conduits. And by the way, guys, um, we are right now running 316 version, the latest one to this date. And uh, someone gone nuts and changed the recipes quite heavily because, well, the item conduits they are quite powerful, let's be honest. So, yeah, electrum item pipes needed for item conduits. Is it awesome? I know it is, yeah. So now I want to run these along here and over. Nope, I actually don't need a hammer in here anymore. Like this, this will be as insert and this will be as outsert or extract. It's not working. Why? Well, because the output slot is here. Uh, sorry, the input place is here, so I need just to turn it on the left, and now you can see it's receiving charcoal. And in the end, what we want to have is this always full on charcoal, and we are sorted. We are automatically sorted for the steam, and actually, I can do is 
Machine Control, Liquid Detector. Done. And I'm out of charcoal, which is the third issue. Why is it third? Why is it not second? Because the second one is something different, but we are, uh, thanks to my long explanations, we are running low on time. So I will work on actually this, what I wanted to do now, uh, in the next episode, which will be, well, soon. Not like this one, yeah be soon out <laughs> but uh, let's, let's talk about what is actually the issue I'm having the second issue uh, when I run all these machines at once these two turbines are not going to keep up they will keep up for a little bit of time but not for really long period which is something I really just Think we should fix and for that we will work on these three parts in the next episode okay and as I said that's it for this episode thank you all for watching today I have sh I showed you my solution for the steam production there are a couple of others you could really detect uh, the amount of fluid on top on the roof just on the tank but I wanted to do it this way because, well, there's a thing. Why the hell not? Right? It's not about, let's make it as simple as possible. Let's just have fun. And I was having quite a good amount of fun. I hope you as well, guys. So, thank you all for watching. Next episode, soon. Uh, we are going to work on the, as you saw, uh, battery buffers, uh, canning machine and batteries. And in the next episode after, we will work on the problem number three, which is the charcoal. So, yeah. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time. It's good to be back. Bye-bye.